Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Spider Island Issue 3. Before I start talking about Spider Island, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Um, this week, or actually tomorrow, I have a uh, Like Father, Like Daughter Q&A coming up, a uh, live Q&A at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, it's celebrating the launch of the Kickstarter, which is also tomorrow, so be sure to check that out. Also, guys, of course, I have Comic Uno um, episode 111, and that's show I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And here are the exclusive comics. We got Plutuna, issue 1, <coughs> Broken World, issue 4. Silver Surfer, issue 14. Jupiter Circle, issue 6. The Flash Season 0, issue 12. Injustice Gods Among Us, issue 9. And We Can Stand on Guard, issue 3. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic Uno, episode 111, which is annotated. But let's talk about Spider Island, issue 3. Uh, of course, you have one of my favorite stories in here, Spider Girl, my favorite superhero of all time. Many pictures. If you can see them. Um, Spider Girl is my favorite character, so I was very excited to read this. It's the same creative team as the normal Spider Girl series with Tom the Falco and Ron Friends. Uh, and also you got the other Spider, uh, Spider Island story with um, Flash Thompson. So I am going to talk about the Spider Girl story first, of course. I know that's totally backwards, but that's what I'm going to do because Spider Girl is my favorite. Uh, so with this issue, it's only five pages. I thought this is definitely the the shortest so far, and even though I think it was the same amount of pages as, as issue two, felt the, sh uh, the shortest, but you definitely get some meat in the story. So, uh, with this issue, um, or this, this little mini story, is that May thinks that J2 is Deimos, and is beating the hell out of him, and, and, and regretting not killing him. Uh, and J2's like, what's going on? You know, I, I'm not this person you're trying to hit. Uh, and now, Avengers against Avengers, that's that's what's going on here. And then you have one page where uh, Uncle Ben, uh, Uncle Ben of Spider-Verse, meets up with Normie and Uncle Phil. And they're all worried about May, you know, thinking that she's taking this responsibility thing a little bit too far. And uh, they're going to go hopefully help her. So that's, you know, a lead up to hopefully helping her in the next issue. Uh, and by the end, we see that May realizes, oh, something's up. I don't know if this is Deimos or not, because my spire sense is tingling. And it's not for Deimos, it's for me. Why am I my own worst enemy? Uh, and then we get to see a, a hero slash villain pop up, the Red Queen, Hope Van Dyne. The daughter of Wasp and and Ant Man. So this story is very much an Ant Man Spider Girl story. And what I liked about that ending with Hope is that we we get to see what May can become because Hope is doing all this because her parents died and she thinks the Avengers were the cause of it. Uh, so she wants revenge, and you know May's kind of in the same boat where if she goes any farther, she can become someone like Hope. So I think Hope is a really cool villain for it. Uh, only nit nitpick of the issue probably was Ant Man's uh, costume design looks a little bit too much like a Spider Man type thing going on there. So I would say that's my only nitpick really. Uh, but I love the issue. You know, I think Tom the Falco tells so much story and only. Uh, five pages, and uh, we got to see some great characters like Normie, like Uncle Phil, you know, prominent characters of the Spire Girl book. Uh, so yeah, really well done story, and again, there's so much meat in only these five pages, and I'm of course excited to see where it goes. So, love the story. Um, but let's move on to Spire Island, because that is the main book here. Uh, in the Spire Island book, we get to see that you know, uh, the vendors, Ven uh, Venom, they find Peter, so they have to figure out a way to heal everybody. They're still trying to figure out a way, but also you get interactions between Venom and Peter saying, oh my god, you're Venom! Oh my god, you're Spider-Man! So that was a lot of fun, because you don't get to see that as often. Uh, and then we see that Venom finds um, Mary Jane, um, Betty, I think it's uh, Shannon Carter, and also Carly, and they're, you know, spider uh, spider monsters, and now they are experimenting uh, a cure, which is the, the lizard formula, and now they're all lizards, but at least, hey, <laughs> they have their minds under control. So I like that we actually get to see Mary Jane, because uh, uh, one of my favorite parts, hopefully I can get an image of them being lizard people. Hold on. Um, <clears throat> here we go. Here's a little image of that. Uh, but one of my favorite parts of Spire Island book was Mary Jane having these spider powers. Mary Jane was such a, a prominent part of the main, the original Spire Island story, so it's great to see her, you know, at least show up here and have her normal mind, and hopefully in, in issues of come we'll see more of her. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun seeing Peter and Venom interact, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I still think it's a 
super corny <laughs> that all these heroes are becoming like vampires and go green goblins. Uh, and I, I don't know if I love the world that they're building here. I don't know if I really care about the battle to come. But I do think there are small details that I did enjoy more than I enjoyed in previous issues. Like issue 2 I remember I thought was very corny. Um, <clears throat> but I thought this issue was pretty good. Um, so overall I'm going to give uh, Spire Island 3.5 stars. Again, I don't know if I totally care about the whole universe. But I definitely liked parts of this issue. And I really enjoyed the Spire Girl story. So Spire, uh, Spire Island issue 3 gets 3.5 stars. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also in the description below there's links from my comic book like Father Like Daughter. Don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.